All right, today I'm taking a look at the TZ Stellar X3. Okay, this has a nice metal box, just like the X2, so I really like that. I was afraid, just looking at the box, it didn't come with the, uh, the metal case, but it sure does. Wow, all right. So we got a leather pouch, and there it is. That is a fairly heavy... Okay, so we actually got switches and stuff on here, too. So we have a decibel reduction, and we have a cutoff. So that's nice. That's something I didn't see on the X2, so I like having that. But yeah, this is just a, that's just a clean-looking mic. And that is an XLR, so keep that in mind. You're going to have to have some kind of an interface in order to make this work. And we've got a shock mount. So it is fully free-floating. and has pretty nice elastic material on here. And the bottom ring spins, so all I have to do is drop the mic in and I can just spin it on so I don't have to be like spinning the mic over and over. So I like that. That's a cool design. Yeah, that's pretty solid feeling. I like that. Okay. Go ahead and... Alright. Pretty nice fill on threads. And we can put the pop filter on. There we go. That's got a little hat. So let's test it out. Okay, test, test, test. Wow, that thing sounds really nice. <laughs> test, 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 test. Uh, it's a little bit much. Let's go ahead and put the 10 decibel down. So this is what it sounds like with the 10 decibel down. And of course I do have a cloud lifter on here so it's actually kicking everything up. So I'm pretty sure I could actually take the cloud lifter off. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Okay, so we're back at zero and I'm going to just adjust the gain down on my Scarlet. Test, 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 test. Okay, so this sounds a lot nicer. Now this is, of course, uh, I believe this is a large diaphragm mic, and it, this thing sounds really good, like it sounds full. So right now I'm at about uh, three inches away, and right now I'm about a foot away, and right now I'm about two feet away. And if I adjust the game back up, test, 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 one foot away, two feet away. But of course we can hear a lot of the, uh, the background noise if we do that. So... I'm going to turn this back down a little bit. And right now we're on straight, so I'm going to turn on the low pass. Test, 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 test. 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 Okay, so yeah, I think that sounds pretty good too. So if I start tapping on the desk, you can hear the desk, but what you don't hear are the vibrations coming through the arm because the shock mount filter is working perfectly. So now let's check the pop filter. Pop, 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 pop. That actually sounds pretty good. I'm not hearing a lot of plosives. So yeah, overall, I think this sounds like really good. Like it sounds full. It sounds, it sounds exactly how I want it to sound. So great mic.